I had a crew a floor below. We were preparing screens, and he was up top. They were lifting out beams and columns, and I heard over the RT that Chris had fallen. Then I was in the air, and I, I landed and hit the ground head first. So we all rushed up to the next floor, and we found him lying on the ground. Workplace accidents are an all too common occurrence in New Zealand. That's why WorkSafe New Zealand has been established with the vision that every worker should go home healthy and safe at the end of the day. Welcome to WorkSafe New Zealand. Today we are delighted to launch our new organisation. Thank you to all the staff who have come over to WorkSafe New Zealand, bringing with you your experience and skills. So what's new about WorkSafe New Zealand? Well, WorkSafe New Zealand is a new Crown entity. It will have its own board and a chief executive. Our funding has been increased from 53 million a year to 80 million a year. This additional funding will give us an opportunity to implement changes and to strengthen our enforcement and education. It will also allow us to increase our inspectorate from 121 inspectors at present up to 200. This is going to be an important new initiative to allow us to undertake our task effectively. An early priority for the new funding is putting in place an education programme and providing mentoring and support for those working in the field. This initiative is one being worked on by Acting Chief Executive Geoffrey Podger. My role is to try and help a smooth transition for WorkSafe to its new agency status. My successor, Gordon MacDonald and I, will have three main objectives for the organisation. First of all, we want to value our staff and we want to listen to their views and take everyone's views into account before taking decisions. Secondly, we'll want to work closely with our partners so as to create a real new culture of health and safety in New Zealand. Thirdly, we need to keep the best of what's already been achieved but we also need to use our new resources and status to innovate so we can make further progress. We're really excited to be able to work with our new social partners, Business New Zealand and the Council of Trade Unions. What we'd like to see from WorkSafe is a new emphasis on things like regulations, on inspection, on supporting worker participation and, and ensuring that workers are able to play their role in workplace safety. Uh, my role in the workplace is uh, as the union representative for the company and uh, just taking pretty much care of the workers here and making sure they, they get the right information so they can go home to their families in one piece. WorkSafe can help me through providing me with the right tools, information and any updated material that we need to implement into the business just to keep us updated with safety concerns. And I've been managing health and safety here for over 20 years and certainly from a manager's point of view the last thing you want to see is your guys getting hurt. So WorkSafe New Zealand, good luck in the future, I'm sure you're going to do well and we'll be watching and uh, we can't wait till you come to visit us to give us a hand with health and safety, thanks. The establishment of WorkSafe New Zealand and the Working Safer Reform Package is going to mark a real step change in health and safety in the workforce for New Zealand. This is the legacy that we owe the Pike River families, the families of the 75 who die at work every year, and the 600 to 900 who suffer occupational diseases through work. I expect WorkSafe New Zealand to be a strong regulator, an effective regulator, and one that acts proportionate to the risks that you see and confront. I also expect to know that you'll work collaboratively with other agencies and with business and with workers and the organisations that represent them. I wish you every success as you work at the front lines in relation to workplace health and safety. WorkSafe New Zealand will provide a leadership role in health and safety. We will be working closely with New Zealand industry to improve New Zealand's record in health and safety. We want to see a 25% reduction in workplace related injury and deaths within New Zealand by 2020.
WorkSafe New Zealand. It's not just a new name. It's about a new attitude and a new culture, and the name reflects that. Let's make a change to people's lives and make work safe.